Okay, so we're back in the tractor again, and I just want to show some of the improvements I've made to the whole system. Um, so one of the problems, one of the things that really concerned me with uh, the way I had the Arduinos in the tractor before was that um, if the Arduino stopped working, so did my tractor, and uh, they also were looked pretty ugly. I mean, it was very looking like a prototype. I've significantly cleaned things up, so if you remember, I used to have an Arduino right here with some wires coming out and it was really nasty and ugly and uh, basically this plug is controlling the shuttle shift on the steering column here that puts the tractor in and out of gear and now what I have is this this plug that plugs into the steering column and the uh, the wire runs down into the control box down here and how this works is you turn the control box on and the tractor is driving just normally there's nothing different except there's this box and a couple extra wires in your tractor when you get to the field and you're ready for autonomous mode all you need to do is flip up this the red safety switch put the tractor in autonomous mode and once you arm it with your key fob and from the software in the combine then the light and the beeper start going and if you ever want to drive the tractor manually again such as to unload it into the truck all you need to do is flip the switch down and the tractor is back to manual mode now the nice thing about this plug in the steering column is that if for some reason the control box goes down or um, I just want to operate the tractor without all this extra electronics in it if we're using it for an operation that's completely manual. It's very quick to completely get rid of all the electronics. You just unplug the plug and plug in this little terminator and now you can see that all there is is a little nub on the steering column it's hardly taller than my finger and the tractor is right back to stock I've done the same thing on the right hand console it's just tucked in underneath so you can't even see it and uh, and that's it no more moving parts in the cab no more embedded Arduinos they all end up in the control box and it's very quick and easy to take the electronics in and out and put the tractor um, back to stock operation so it just uh, really cleans things up in the tractor I think this is basically the final design the components in the box are still um, they're not they're they're modular so I can switch out components if I find better ones or have trouble with an individual component uh, eventually that's something that would be nice to have on one integrated circuit board but for now this is a, a great solution and it allows the design to be used today but to continue to evolve as um, I find new components and products to make it better